again, it is Whitney and I wanted to go over my process when I'm brainstorming on my weekly spreads. I have over a year and a half worth of different weekly spreads in my shop and they're all available for easy transfer. P.S. All the new ones are in the VIP vault on the website. I'll put a link down below. But I kind of wanted to just go through the process of how I design my layouts in my head because I know a lot of people are like, where do you get your inspiration? And really, I just kind of let the pen do its job or the pencil at first. I'm just gonna kind of explain exactly what I'm doing and I'm also gonna draw it up. So I will hyperlapse through a little bit of it, but I'll also stop and explain some of the things that I'm doing while I'm doing them. So let's turn it over to the journal view and we'll get started. Okay, so you can see that I do have my pencil lines already here. So the very first thing I did was decide on a grid. And sometimes that's all I need for some inspiration is just drawing out the grid first and then I start connecting lines with the pencil. I decided to use a six equal sections tall and then two wide on this side. And I did the same thing on this other side just to make it a little bit easier. Some of my layouts, I'll do different grids on both sides, but this one is six equal sections tall and then halves. So if you have the door hanger or journal companion, make sure to use your reference rows. Since it's one six, we're using reference row E. That means I slipped it right under my page, continued those E lines, and made those equal sections. So I used the pencil there, and also I just split the page in half. You can do this with easy math, or you can look at the journal companion, which has the calculations of actually where to add your lines. But I could just slip this under the page and know exactly where half was. So I did that on both sides made the grid, and then I started drawing out the pencil lines and deciding what I wanted to track. So I do track a lot of different things each and every week, and to get some ideas, I used to always just kind of brainstorm, but I did make a full list of complete blank space ideas, so this is kind of what I reference when I'm deciding what I want to track in here. This is part of the journal companion with that table in there that I was telling you about, and there's also a blank page where you can practice too. So I'm going to go ahead and start drawing the lines. I am going to use the door hanger just because I like to have a long straight line. One of my group members suggested to laminate it and I think that's brilliant and I kinda wanna do one now. Just so the edges, if you're using like a really wet tip pen, just so your line stays straight. I'm just gonna trace over these. In this grid, I'm not going over every single line that I'm making. But on this left page, I am going over these because that's what the layout look, looks like. And I do have all of my design templates in my shop and all the newer ones are in the VIP vault. If you are a subscriber, you should have that password. Check your email. If not, subscribe and you'll get it. The other page is kind of like a windmill looking. Um, on my layouts, I will have actually X's on the lines we're not gonna transfer for the pencil, so I really didn't need to put this pencil line here or here, but I am gonna go ahead and draw this line here for the top of this box. This is gonna be the days. And so now I'm just gonna connect the corners of these boxes. And I'm also going to put a straight line through the middle, and there will be eight equal triangles in this box, and then one down the, side, down the middle here. And then at the top, I'm going to have a this week section and a next week section. So you can either make a little gutter here, which is what I'm going to do, or you can just extend this line up and just make it a larger box. So I'm just going to make a little spacing do the same thing at the bottom. All right, so now pretty much all the lines are out of the way. I do have a little habit tracker in one of these boxes. And of course you can track anything in these boxes. These are gonna be my day boxes that go around. I'm gonna have a this week to do and next week to do and beyond. Usually I just put future things in this box. I also decided to put a don't forget section, three goals for the week, 
favorites this week, a little habit tracker, headlines, and big goals. So like 90 day kind of goals. So I am just gonna go through and decorate this. I did leave these just spaces for kind of decorating. You can do anything here. You can put uh, washi tape, you can put Zen doodles, you can do daily doodles. You could just do little line drawings, anything you want, or you can add additional trackers in there. But I'm gonna go ahead and decorate this. I will keep this pin out and draw the habit tracker real quick. I know I want it seven days, so I just counted from the, from the inside up to seven squares here. And I just did it as tall as I could, so there's room for four habits here to track. And that is plenty for a weekly spread. And sometimes you can't see the dots underneath if you've made these lines already. If you can't, just line your ruler up with these dots up here or these dots down here. Actually, you need to probably line them up with both so it stays even. All right, and here's where you can just kind of get creative. These are those clickable letter stamps. I haven't used them in a while, but they've always been some of my favorites. They can snap together and you can make all different kind of words with them, so. I'm just gonna pull one of my Tombos and trace over this April that I drew. Just kind of make it fill the whole box. And if you're wanting ideas of habits to track, I also have a sheet in here that shows you all different kind of habit tracker ideas. So there's over a hundred here. If you're interested, it's in the journal companion. course you go in and erase your pencil lines it's like they were never there you just came up with this awesome layout on your own and then of course you have to snap your picture for Instagram right <laughs> all right so I hope you kind of understood how easy it can be to come up with your own layouts as long as you have that base grid kind of in place already. Um, this is the final product. I probably will, it will get a lot more elaborate during the week. This has no special mood or energy trackers, but I always sometimes tend to just add them in the middle of the week. But anyways, um, these I'll fill in through the week, maybe some doodles or some Zen doodles or something like that. I will put the link to this in the uh, description here. Uh, all my new weekly spreads are in the VIP vault, so you need to just subscribe. You'll get your password in the email, simple as that, and you can easily just follow along with the measurement files or just print it out and paste it in your journal. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, make sure you like and subscribe to the page. And also come join me in my group where I do a live session drawing these weekly spreads, monthly spreads sometimes, um, every other week. So I would love to have you. Thanks so much again, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.